Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. Well, welcome back. I'm Ernest. Uh, here we are in the UPS truck, the mail truck today, and um, I've got an interesting idea for a video that uh, came across my mind the other day. I've been uh, trying out these videos where I'm cooking food on the engine of uh, my truck or whatever, so you can see one of those here. And uh, people thought it was cool to see the truck running with the GoPro under the hood, so I'm gonna make a few videos of different things underneath the hood today. Um, interestingly enough, I have a 4L80E transmission in the UPS mail truck here and uh, they have the bottom part of the bell housing on the transmission can come off. So I'm gonna pull that off and put the GoPro under there and drive around and see what it looks like up inside the bell housing when the truck's driving. It's probably not as cool as a clutch that completely disengages, um, but something I've never seen and probably a lot of people haven't seen. So I think that'll be interesting. I'm gonna, actually the floorboard here I can remove as well. So I'm gonna go through the little bit of extra work to remove this entire floor panel and uh, the bottom of the bell housing underneath the transmission and get some cool footage of what it looks like driving. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing uh, or liking the video and check out uh, the channel memberships down below. Uh, if you're on your phone or whatever, if you're not on the desktop, then look in the description. Um, there's a link at the top of the description for channel memberships, which helps support the channel and uh, fixing it forward where I fix people's vehicles occasionally who uh, find themselves in a tough situation. So without further ado, we'll get into this and uh, see what it looks like under there. All right. Actually, a lot of people probably don't know. This is where I put my camera when I'm driving and you can see out the front window. Uh, this is the sliding door here to the back of the UPS truck, the mail truck. Um, so I'm going to put this on here, looking straight down at the floor panel where I'm standing with my infamous Crocs. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that floor panel taken off and then I'll get the bell housing, uh, the bottom cover removed underneath. So, uh, this is a cool view here, which I'm excited to show you. have to pull the engine in these things they actually come out through here if I'm not mistaken I've heard of somebody saying that you they came up through the cab but I haven't done it hopefully I never have to that the work that comes from this is putting it back together not taking it out so when I said doing the extra work this is no problem but putting it back together with these weird little that they use is very difficult There you have it. There's the 4L80E transmission. I'm not sure what model, but I think the difference in like two different models is uh, the way these transmission cooler lines, one of them's like actually back here on a different model. I'm not sure which one's better or not, but this is the one I got. What is that? Is that the parking brake? No way, look at this. I think I just figured out where the parking brake is. Looks like there's a drum brake on the back of this transmission right here. I think this is the parking brake. Could be totally wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but we'll do another video maybe looking at the output of this transmission while it drives. And I don't know what that goes to. But there's the lift pump. I installed a new lift pump on this truck. And there's it right there. All right, there's the transmission. The bottom of the bell housing's right there and uh, we'll get that taken off as well. All right, we're underneath the mail truck here. There's a big old starter. I didn't realize it was so big. This is a 6.5 liter Detroit diesel. I replaced this oil pan a while ago because it was bent and I'm interested to make sure I got that rear seal on. So I just thought of that when I was under here, but it's a good thing I'm under here. I'm gonna take this off because I'll be able to check that rear seal and uh we'll get this out of the way and get looking at that torque converter while it's driving that'll be cool hopefully i don't have to mess with this exhaust pipe too much i remember taking this off but maybe that's because i actually had the uh oil pan off so we'll see what happens
All right, well, three minutes and I'm not gonna pull it all the way out of the way because you can see the torque converter right there. So I'm gonna get this GoPro maybe somewhere like right here. I'll check and see how that looks and uh, we'll get a video of it driving down the road. Nice. All right, that's a good angle. We'll go ahead and take some laps with this and see what it looks like. I don't think that torque converter is on this pan here, so I'll try and keep it that way. We'll see. All right, there we go. Camera's all set up here on the inside. We got the camera on the bottom there on the torque converter. We'll take it for a spin. The GoPro's still there. I don't see why it would have fallen off. Just in case, that would have been bad. Oh, I figured maybe it would touch. I didn't know if it would back down by itself, but we'll see if that turned out all right. I'm interested to see what it looked like. But cool. That's a job all done. I'll meet you back up top after I put this together. All right, well, there you have it. I'm Ernest. Don't worry about my kid in the back. He just hopped up here when I got here. I wasn't, he wasn't in there when I was driving. Um, but there you have it. That's the look at uh, that torque converter while it's driving. And uh, if you're interested in seeing anything else, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, we'll do like some mini series, probably some short videos, um, including things like this, what things look like while they're operating. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Ernest. We'll see you on the next episode of Roadside Rescue.